hey hey guys welcome to our second video in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to reproduce a logo or create a logo this is going to take you through um, the whole concept of shapes uh, colors and creating logos yeah so the logo we are going to be reproducing is an instagram logo yes an instagram logo so let's get right to it don't forget to like and subscribe okay and if you've got any problems you can drop your comments below okay let's get to it then um so i'm going to come to gallery um i want to look for um an original instagram instagram logo all right so that's the original instagram logo right okay i'm going to put my background to white yes i'm going to use a white background white background there we go so if you look at this shape it has the shape of a square yes so that's the square now can't really see it because it's white yes but this is great in case you have to see yeah let me just use that color so you can see so from here I'm going to reduce I'm going to add the radius I'm going to increase the radius is everyone there I'm increasing the radius then I'm going to change the color now we have plain colors just like this complete black complete red and we have gradient colors which are mixed black and red um i don't know sky blue and whatsoever yes we have colors which are mixed now i can put my own color taking the color from somewhere else i just have to take this plus sign i don't know if y'all have seen this plus sign um right here that's the plus sign I just need to tap on it and uh, yeah these are the different orientations you see it's moving from left from right to left top to bottom um, sideways or incline from the center from the bottom to the top uh, and we have sides again so for this IG logo right that's what we are going to do please you can still accept this shape and you come to this shape editor come right here come right there okay yes you come here to edit this shape and uh, I want to make that shape the color of this whole outer shape that's how I'm going to start the color of the whole outer shape so I'm going to take gradients as you can see there are many colors okay let's get to it okay top to bottom I'm going to take you see right here we have yeah this is what I mean we have two spots for two colors only but subsequently you're going to see that this plus can add a spot and this minus can reduce the spots okay remove the spot sorry okay so this is the color on top as you can see they match so that shouldn't be a problem you come here yeah to pick a color from what is on your screen a color from anything which is on your screen okay and you have you have this other part to edit a color you understand subsequently when I say edit I'm talking of this part okay yeah so I want to pick the colors of this you see this is what is on my screen these are the stuff on my screen so i'm going to take this first one and pick up here i'm going to add another color pick 
shift it for space and another color pick you see I'm picking chronologically right I don't want everything to get mixed up so you can see that logo is already giving the vibe you know and at times when you add it comes instead to the middle it skips instead of coming here it comes here so you have to be vigilant enough so this is where yes add that color yeah it's giving me what i need yes can remove this okay uh, I think that should be it okay. okay so now we can arrange the orientation with this okay and boom we have that yes we have that it's still looking like a square to me so what i'm going to do is i'll, I'll come here where we have edit yeah i'm going to take that edit don't bother i came to this because that's the original picture or the original shape we have i'm going to add the radius again which is the size add that radius yeah okay i think we're looking good looking good huh all right so let me come again to this color see if i can uh, do some magic here okay okay then Second thing we gotta do, we add another shape. If you look at the next box inside, it's white. So we're gonna make this white. Fit your seat. Fit your seat well. This it well. Let me put this at the center. This, this, it's at the center. And this to this this it's at the center you see that's why the center so these are my layers I'm going to lock this one let's not move yes this okay I'm using the white one so I'm going to lock this layer I created this is the shape I created this is the original picture you can do this you see the eye icon there you can wish to see it or not okay so I've locked that to prevent it from moving you see it can't move again this is what i locked it can't move right okay put this back at the center okay looking good so far um uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy it change the color to black Reduce it. Reduce it a little bit. Again. Then, okay, I'm going to merge. See, these are the two. This is the black one, this is the white. I'm going to take both of them. Okay, let me do that again. We do this, come to the layer. This is the layer. Yeah. so I'm going to come to this part right here do this I select the two items I want to merge then I'm going to take this that's the merge this stuff right here it's the merge I'm going to merge both of them you can see they are now together okay 
up next i'm going to come to erase color i want to remove the black color in the middle i do this it's automatically set to white if you look at the one yeah this one this one it's white so i'm going to change it I'm going to change it to uh, I'm going to use this drop this select this thing it's a selector yes it's a selector i'm going to pick it and pick black it can't pick this other stuff it can only pick what i was working on that's black <coughs> cool see the white the black is gone can increase the tolerance as you can see it's gone completely gone i still have a problem with this big shape it's good to reduce it increase that radius next I'm going to this is just for you to learn okay you can take your time and do it deep in there your own free time yes do the radius right do everything right this is just for learning purpose so what we did with the square we're going to do the same thing but now with a circle I'm sure you get the whole idea okay this shape down here it's already in a circle automatically so if you had to see it yeah there we go so i'm going to put it black because i want to remove the color inside reduce it put it at the center copy it reduce it make it white the white color then I cannot change that black color to a white color as well are we there can we see it coming <laughs> okay um, another way of doing this is okay let me just undo everything okay we have just the black white just this black what I can do is I can come to the center can come to eraser sorry eraser that's eraser right there we have our ship you look at this icon up here it's going to give you a shape you're going to be erasing using a shape normally the eraser just does this yes but now you're going to use a shape to erase you have a square and a circle back not do this um this part with the square because we had reduced the radius so it was not actually a complete square so i just do this i can take the circle can reduce it then this part it means you're removing the part you've selected undo and this part means your the part you've selected is what is going to remain hmm? i'm talking about this two stuff here yeah. this and this hmm? yeah you just try both of them with your free time and see what you get okay so this circle i can reduce or increase is that okay so now i'm going to just do this and boom you see what we got there but now to me it's too thin you get it's two things i'm going to undo remember undoing in here does not affect the one outside okay you're undoing only the eraser in here undo. still think it's 
Martin. Okay, cool. I think, I think I think we got it right now. We need to change the color. <coughs> dope. Dope, dope, dope. So just got one last touch. Add the shape. Make it a circle. Reduce it to be very small. And this time I'm going to use I'm going to use my positioning, not relative positioning. Relative position is to make this stuff be at exact positions. And now I'm going to here can increase the way it moves. You see how it's moving with space. If I do this, it starts moving in bits. Yeah, so let's I mean it is so it use it again. Now I want to make it really detailed, so I'm going to reduce its pixel movement to one. Put it right there. And boom, there you go. It's not very perfect. You can do a perfect one at your free time, but I don't think you see the difference. Yeah, except you really, really care. <laughs> but nobody cares, right? It's a logo. Um, you should care. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Watch out for the next video. You're going to be doing something great.